this is the beginning of the draft, so hopefully we're going to be in for a little treat. Uh, don't know really what to expect. But um, this thing one and two is going to go. The draft ain't going to really get fun until we pick three. So um, let's hopefully, let's just get it started and enjoy. First pick goes to Andrew Luck. Not a surprise. I'm surprised it took so long. He should have just locked his ass up there and gotten the, gotten the jersey. So, like, what's supposed to happen? All according to the plan. Second pick goes just according to plan. RG3 going to Washington. So far, no surprises. Not supposed to be any surprises. So, let's keep this show rolling. Number three pick one, Troy Jason. Again, not really surprised. It was a surprise that the Browns trade up to get up there. They, so far, following the play, so stay tuned. Lots and lots of trades. Dallas traded up with St. Louis to pick up uh, Morris Claiborne, a uh, quarterback from LSU. They really need a quarterback, so it's a good, good move for Dallas. They didn't fuck up like they usually do in the draft. So, so far, it's been pretty exciting. Lots of moves. Lots and lots of trades. Dallas traded up with St. Louis to pick up uh, Morris Claiborne, a uh, quarterback from LSU. They really need a quarterback, so it's a good, good move for Dallas. They didn't fuck up like they usually do in the draft. So, so far, it's been pretty exciting. Lots of moves. Uh, Bucks just made a pick. Safety Mark Barron from Alabama. Um, that's a good pick for them. They had their defense. They, they need this because their defense has been lacking. So it's a good pick for them. So party continues. So the Dolphins pull the trigger on uh, Ryan Tannehill, who shouldn't be the eighth pick because he's not that great. But hey, maybe they can develop him. Oh well, it's Miami's first pick. We'll see how it works out. To me, bad pick. Very bad pick. Panthers take Luke Keighley, a linebacker from Boston College. I think he's the highest draft pick from Boston College in Boston College history. So they actually do need really big help in their defense. Bills take uh, quarterback Stephon Gilmore from South Carolina. Uh, good pick. Again, they need help in their defense. So definitely worth what they're doing. So so far, Bills doing good. KC takes Antonio Poe from Memphis, defensive tackle. Uh, is this a high pick for them? I guess this is what they need. I mean, KC had a lot of injuries last year, so it's hard to judge what they actually need. But. The Eagles trade up to get Fletcher Cox from Mississippi State. Um, good move for them. They, they need they need that for, with their defense because they had a big D-line problem. So, even though it got better later on the year, we'll see how it works out. See St. Louis takes the, with the 14th pick. They took um, a defensive tackle from LSU. They need that. Their defense is kind of porous. So this is a very good pick for them. Uh, so far, they said it's for the SEC's ruling this draft with defense. The Seahawks got a, a, a guy with very big character issues. It wasn't supposed to go this high. This could be a gigantic reach for them. But we'll see if it works out for them. So go Seahawks. We'll see how it works. So just with a defensive end, I don't want to say they didn't need that much help on defense. They actually really need help on uh, offense. Well, well, we'll see how this pick works out for him. I mean, it, it works out for his game, but I don't know. Just Patrick's now off the board. He, uh, I know the Titans were wait, well, wanting to get this guy, but um, let's keep on rolling. Good pick. Sam will need this pick. No big deal. Good pick. Good check out of um, South Carolina. Uh, their defense was atrocious, so it's a, it's a good move for them. I like it. Works out. So another trade, Chandler Jones from Syracuse is going to New England. They traded his pick from uh, Cleveland. So showing up in their defense, even though they were a Super Bowl team, their defense is horrible. So hopefully this works out for them. Cleveland with their second pick in the first round took Brandon Wheaton. So there's going to be quarterback controversy in Cleveland with fellow Big 12 alum Cole McCoy. We'll see how this works out. Lions took Ryler Reef, an offensive tackle from uh, Iowa. It's Big Ten's first pick in the draft so far. Um, I guess it's kind of what they need. Sure. Doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. Steelers take an offensive tackle. Nothing sexy about this. Um, they kind of do need this because their own line is not that good. So, yeah, well, hopefully they'll make it work. Big Ben needs protection. New England trades up to get Denver's pick, and they end up picking Donta Hightower from uh, Alabama. 
I think it's the fourth Alabama guy to go in the first round. Um, again, they need help. Titans take Whitney Merciless. Uh, I guess stacking people back behind their already great defense. It's good to have people in the cut just in case. So, hope this works out for them. Uh, Bengals take uh, O'Gard from Wisconsin. Um, uh, yeah, I guess that's what they needed. I mean, right now we're at the end of the draft. That's the second part of the draft, so let's keep it going. Green Bay takes outside linebacker Nick Perry from USC. Um, the very first guy from the Pac-12 shows in the first round. Um, uh, they, Green Bay needs this. Their defense was atrocious, even though they made some. Vikings pick up the 29th pick, pick up Harrison Smith, safety from Notre Dame. Um, yeah, this is, this is a good pick for them, sure up their defense. Their defense was really half bad, but good move. Great way to pick up the 29th pick. Four Niners take AJ Jenkins from Illinois, wide receiver, good pick. Bradley Edwards didn't work out, Michael Crabtree is so far somewhat a bust, so good move. So Tampa traded a pick with Denver. Picked up a running back for Boise State. Boise State had two picks in the first round. Um, good move for them. LeVar Buzz is a good back, but he needs help. Good pick. Good pick. The New York Football Giants take a running back Daniel Wilson from Virginia Tech. Uh, they lost one of their running backs, so this might be a good move for them to restock. So, closing thoughts next. So the draft is over. Good draft. Lots of trading, especially in the top 10. Some teams going up that you wouldn't expect to get up, but uh, for the most part, I think it went the way it's supposed to go. Um, like I said, quarter of the day, we'll see how everything works out. Later.